it's Alexis and in today's video I'm going to show you my pet routine it's actually like 12 o'clock right now but I still haven't fed my animals because I'm lazy quarantine had to get all my homework done thanks a lot teachers but yeah so I first wake up and then I do my fish hamsters then my cats so let's do it the tanks on Oh, nope, nope, not for my axolotl. Mm -mm -mm. I know this already, but now that the tank lights are up. Okay, this mirror is a little... Look at my head there. This is normal head. Squash, normal, squash, normal, squash, normal, squash. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Mm. Okay, <laughs> now that the tank lights are on, it's time to feed all of the fishies. And for my hamster, He's last. Don't mind my tanks. Yes, they need to clean, but I know. But here's my saltwater tank. It's a 40 gallon. This is a little slidey thing to clean the tanks. And this is where I feed them. And they love it. There's only two fish in here. Maybe a snail or two. I don't know. So, here's the fish food. I just grab a little pinch. There's only two fish in here. And then, see this little crack? I drop the food right there, and I, I just push it in. And they love it. And if they seem hungry, which they kind of do, I put more food, fish food in there. But not a lot because, you know, they're fish. And I don't want them to overfill. Beautiful male beta. And um, here's this tank. It's a, it looks really small, but it's a five gallon tank. And he loves it. He has a little snail friend right there. The light is blinding. This is Gary. But he has a trouble eating. So what I do, I gotta, let me like clean this for you guys. You guys can actually see what's kind of going on. I'm not scared of this fish. What did I just do? But he's like following my finger because he knows fingers made food. So I dip my finger in. Sorry, this tank is being stupid. Then, it's like, okay, that's really annoying. Will you stop? One second. Okay, my filter finally stopped being stupid and I'll show you how I feed my betta. Like I said, I need water on my finger. So I dip my finger in the water, touch a piece of food, or it picks it up. Now it's on my finger, and I hold it, okay, hold it above the water, and he eats it, because he's a good little boy. He dropped it right here. Snow, buddy. Aw. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. No, it's right here, dude. See it in the, no, okay. He usually gets it first try, but not this time. So, I gotta... Come on, little guy. You see it on my finger? No. No, buddy, it's... Okay, it's in the water, okay. And he gets three pellets, so one more. Oh my gosh, you're okay, Filter. You are okay. It's right there. I need you get it. Okay, he got it. Good job, Kalahari. I'm proud of you, bud. This is really blinding. Okay, that looks better, kind of. It's still really bright, but I have angel tooth angelfish. I don't know what that fish is called. A garmi. I don't know how to say it. And then I have two catfish. The catfish um eat this. These little pellets that came like for algae eaters and stuff. Kind of smells like dog food, but I just sprinkle it in. Oh, you guys aren't supposed to eat that, but okay. These guys are so cool to watch eat. They're pretty skittish. But you can see the pebbles on the ground. Here come the hobgoblers. They eat it like it's nothing. And look at their tiny fat bellies. I love them. Okay, and then 
This is a mix I made myself of just random fish food. And yeah, I just take a little bit and I sprinkle it at the top of the water. But there come the angel. My angel fish are surprisingly really active and they're so pretty. This one's my favorite. His name is uh, El Diablo and there's Angel. Kinda, um, what's it called? Basic, yeah. This tank needs cleaned so bad. I don't know. Yeah, it needs cleaned. And now we move on to my beautiful axolotl who finally has a name. His name is Arlo and he's adorable and gorgeous. And we love you, don't we, buddy? I just love you so much. Time to journey to the kitchen. Get warm. Worms to my room. That's a big one. My room. Set the worms on the table. Get. Ow! Ow! I ran over my fucking floor. Let me put that up. Mm -hmm. I have this little cup to clean them. So I just scoop some water. Put right there. Grab these. And he's a big boy. He gets some pretty big worms. Obviously, not this big. That's a huge worm. I'll have to cut this one in half. But he... He's alive. He's just really... Uh, I don't know. If you guys don't want to see a worm get cut in half, you might want to skip the video right now because I'm about to cut this worm in half. This with my foot. Don't go anywhere. Oh, I gotta clean him. I'm gonna. Oh, goodness. Okay. There we go. He's gonna get washed up, and I'm gonna go grab scissors. So, if you guys don't want to see a worm get cut in half, uh, you should skip the video. I have my cousin going. Oh no, I feel bad. But, gotta cut him. Oh my gosh, stop squirming around. Don't like watching them get cut. Okay, there we go. It's kind of amusing. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna give him this little piece first. It's still really big. Little piece. Now get his face. He attacks it. Sometimes I like to play tug of war with it, but he doesn't really like it. <laughs> like, he's strong. Like. And then just watch this little worm squirm. Oh god. There's like a six inch worm. So yeah, he's gonna get this other half because he is growing, but not until he swallows that down. Actually, I don't think he's going to be able to eat this worm, so I'll feed that to him tonight. But... Yep, that's Arlo and my other fish. I need to go into the garage and get the cat food and then bring it outside. This tree is full of bees. It's kind of scary. And then... There's my kitty cats, Xyler and Zoe. And then I just, that's like all leftover food that my mom put in there. And then just put cat food in there. And that's pretty much all because so many animals. He's such a sweetheart. And Zoe's a, I don't know. She's really sweet and playful, but she likes to bite and scratch. Only when she gets really pretty. 